Hey everybody, welcome to, back to another video, and today we are actually going to be discussing... We are going to be discussing why One for All went back inside of Deku instead of staying inside of Bakugo. We all saw the scene, well, in movie 2, Heroes Rising, okay? We all saw the scene where Bakugo was like... Where we all saw the scene where he was like, this is my final smash, and the embers went out. But how if the embers went out, how is one for all still inside of him? Alright, so guys, we are going to be discussing this right now. Okay, so, I think the reason why one for all went back inside of Deku, initially went back inside of Deku, is for one reason and one reason only. Because his success isn't over. And you're like, what do you mean? The thing I mean is... He is the successor of One For All. So his days with One For All aren't over until they're over. You know what I mean by that, right? Because he gave... Bakugo one for all in a tough situation, not how um All Might gave Deku one for all, where it he could have backed out of it and actually never told him about one for all at all, and gave him one for all, but he gave him one for all instead. So that's why one for all transferred to Deku, but when Deku transferred it to Bakugo, it was a no way out situation. So it was like Bakugo borrowing it. So. Yeah, it was like, uh, there's a no way out situation, and that's why Deku had to push past, um, his dream of becoming the greatest hero, and had to push past his dream of becoming the greatest hero, and make his dream right then and there to save everybody. So yeah, that's pretty much all I think. I don't know what you guys think, but please let it down, put it down in the comments below. And peace.